we have attainment uh, company and we have John and Joni. I'm not sure Joni, if you're going to do the who's doing what. John, are you presenting? And then Joni is uh, uh, going to do the, the the chat area where you'll share together. And uh, don't go anywhere because at the end of this, there is a big prize that ATIA is giving away. So um, please stick around for that. Uh, and John and Joni, it is all yours. I can't share my video because you've stopped it, it says. Oh, let me look, that's odd. Sorry. Everybody's been sharing. All right, I'll put a pause on the timer. I just asked, okay, there we go. I think we should be in good shape. Sorry about that, Joni. That's okay. I'm, like I'm not looking that great today. today. Oh, you look wonderful. Oh. Well, thank you. We are so excited to close out this afternoon of amazing AAC presentations. Everybody's given us something to think about. I'm Joni Nygaard, an SLP, who is also the VP of AAC Resources and Services at Attainment, partnered today with John Carbo, Director of Communications, Software Communications. And we're excited to share with you, and John's going to share his screen, a couple of the new features of GoTalk Now. John, take it away. All right. Thank you, Joni, and thank you, uh, David, for uh, that lovely introduction. So uh, first, we're going to start off. We have just a few new features that we have in our GoTalk Now app that I'd like to demonstrate. And kind of the theme of what we're talking about today is taking control, which uh, will mean a few different things. But the way that we'll kind of pick it off is taking control when you are designing pages uh, for, you know, for your AAC user. So giving just some more options uh, for the page editor. So I'm going to hop in. This is the uh, core word book, or excuse me, one of the core word books that is included uh, as a free download. And we've in introduced something called synced buttons. Synced buttons are for your commonly used buttons that you may want to, you know, use on more than one page. But with a synced button, you can make changes to the original and then every instance of that will automatically change. So you don't have to be constantly remaking the same button page after page. In this example, in the top left, I have a hello button, which has our little synced icon in it. And so this button is just programmed for text to speech. When I go and play it, oops, I'm still in the editor. Uh, it will just play uh, text to speech. If I tap on it, I can uh, make a change. And actually before I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, if I just go over to uh, my second page, you can see I'm using the same hello button in the corner. But if I go, and let's say I want to change the symbol and go with a uh, high contrast version. I make that one change and when I go to the next page that change is already there. So this is really helpful when you maybe are using a personal photo or you've got a voice recording, like you really just have something that you really just wanna keep it the way it is. This is a way where you can uh, constantly reuse that. And the way that you access your synced button library, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and make a brand new page. When I tap and hold my finger down, there is an add synced button. So this brings me to my synced button library where I can add any number of buttons and uh, that I can reference them throughout this communication book. So these are synced buttons. This is just another option that uh, we can use when creating communication opportunities. Another item that we have added is the quick button editor. So this is a way that allows you to quickly create new buttons uh, that are text only. So if I tap and hold on one of these empty spots, there's a quick button editor. It quickly brings up a menu where I can type in my message and what I want the text-to-speech to say. 
So the, and when I do that, it automatically takes that text and it makes it as large as it can to fill the space. So this is, for example, faster for some of those who may not be familiar with GoTalk now. The standard way is I can go into this button, I can type in the button text here, I can change the action for text to speech. So this quick button editor is really just a way to kind of quickly make those text only buttons. Another option that we have, I'm actually going to switch to a different communication book. This is Participate Now. Uh, this is another one of our pre-made uh, communication books. We've added a couple of settings that if I scroll down to the bottom, we have that quick button editor uh, is the, the top of the, the view here and just in time editing, which is yet another option that we've given for uh, editing capabilities. So for this example, I'm actually gonna go into the player. Oh. And I am going to uh, hit the talk button talk. here, which will take me to a new page. Now, for uh, some of our more experienced Go Talk Now users, uh, we're looking, we're seeing something a little new actually. I am in the player where the app is serving as this AAC device, yet I'm still seeing the tap to add button that act that highlight in the upper left corner. So we've brought the option to edit into the player. So again, just giving more options for uh, those, you know familiar and advanced GoTalk Now users to uh, be able to create communication. And uh, another cool thing that we can do while we're still in the player here is I'm going to- Fun. Add a, this is fun. Again. Let's do it again. A couple of items up to the express bar up at the top. When I tap and hold my finger, I now have another option where I can take everything that's in that express bar and make it as a new button. And I can do that right here in the player. So what the app has done is it's taken the text to speech and it's taken the visual text that was in those two buttons. And now I'm able to, while I'm in the player, create new buttons to communicate with. And just to show you another example, this is something that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for. And also carry across multiple pages. They don't have to be limited to the same page. Candy. Candy. Again, tap and hold, add as a new button. Again, just more options to create new content. And the last new feature I'm going to mention oh. is actually a, just a pretty uh, simple one, but it was actually a request that has come up in that came up in the previous uh, demo days was the option for a dwell. So now under the accessibility setting within the app, there is the option to set an amount of time needed to actually activate a button. And I am going to hand back over to Joni. We know that many of you have experience with GoTalk Now to meet communication needs. You might not be aware that those same individuals also need to have control, some environmental control within their environment. We had an opportunity when a German customer approached one of our colleagues at Praetorian in England um, regarding their iClick product. And they asked, wouldn't there be a way that this could be incorporated directly through the GoTalk Now app? was at that time Dave Gilbert and uh, along with Bob Magoo and other associates from Praetorian reached out to partner with us, our attainment team. What happens when you put a couple of programmers together with different companies? Well, the outcome in this case created an exciting opportunities for all of you, our customers. Win-win. John will share with you now the integration of the iClick and then eventually we went on to add the addition of the Apple HomeKit. For these people with complex communication needs, this is really adding some cool environmental controls. John, we're ready to see it. All righty, sounds good. Just one second here. So first of all, uh, I'm just gonna kind of adjust my camera and shortly we'll, we'll see why I'm sitting in such a dark room. Uh, but it was really great uh, working with our friends at uh, Praetorian. It's always fun to make new connections, you know, work with 
uh, you know, a, work with the greater community at large to help, you know, come up with new solutions uh, for our customers. So we got to get some hands on time. I'm going to grab their iClick. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I've got the uh, iClick right here. Uh, it's got two uh -huh. outlets on it where I'm able to, you know, kind of plug in those electrical appliances. This is a switch accessible device, and it uh, also can pair with uh, mobile apps, including GoTalk Now. So this is a safe way to wirelessly interact with electrical appliances. So I'm just going to kind of set that back down and grab my iPad right here that is running GoTalk now. I have made a couple of pages that I've got that I can turn on. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. There we go. I can turn John, my lava John. lamp on and off. John, I think you need to share your screen. We'll be able to see better. Uh, for this one, I'm showing what's in the room, so I'm just going to okay. get, get up real All right, close. gotcha. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm just, lamp on and quick, on. John, hold on one second. Real quick, I, I'll, I'll give you a time back, but if people want to see just John, who's the speaker, you click on the top right side of the Zoom window on the view and say view speaker, and John's image will get much larger, and you'll be able to see everything he's trying to show. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, no, thank you, David. I did not uh, realize that. So I appreciate you uh, kind of pointing people in the right direction. So I'll give people a couple more seconds to uh, click on that. But with my iPad, uh, I've got a couple of buttons here for the lava lamp, which I can turn on and off. Oh, I think, yeah. and then I also have a radio down here. Another one of the cool things with the iClick is that there are different, so I've got this light set to turn on and off. I can also can mode for, time. you mind muting just for a little bit, Tony? And I've got a radio, there's an option for, uh, excuse me, direct select. So when I hit my radio button, I can hear the radio turn on. And when I release my finger, the radio will stop. So this is a great way to teach cause and effect. Uh, just to really, you know, opens up a lot of cool opportunities. Um, in addition to uh, some other like environmental control, uh, looking at Apple's HomeKit. So for people with more of those smart appliances, we now have integration with the Apple Home app. And the way that that works is within the Apple Home app, you can create what is called a scene. A scene can be any grouping of smart appliances you have in your house. So it can be lights, it can be your TV, it can be the thermostat. And you can set a scene that can customize all of those different uh, those different appliances. And the cool thing about that is that really the a lot of the configuration is done in Apple Home, so you don't have to worry about the person who is in GoTalk now, that AAC user, getting in and like changing the routines or changing any of that. But just to kind of show, I've made a four button. Uh, page here in GoTalk that is connected to uh, a light behind me that I've got it set for good morning. When I do that, I get kind of a nice soft yellow light. It's a little bit dimmed. I've got a scene in Apple Home for study time, which makes it much brighter, more of that daylight kind of quality light bulb. If I want to have movie night, I can hit that and have just some more, uh, you know, some more fun lighting for that. And then finally, when we're all done, I can hit good night and the light turns off. Again, this is just a simple kind of light bulb uh, with Apple Home. There are, you know, just an incredible number of different appliances uh, that are available. 
some of our experienced GoTalk Now users might remember we used to have a setting for the Philips Hue lighting system, which we uh, kind of discontinued. But now with this Apple Home integration, uh, we are able to support those again with in addition to, you know, hundreds, thousands probably of different uh, appliances that can be controlled within GoTalk Now. And those are just some of the new, the fun new things we've been adding that, you know, again, to give the, you know, your GoTalk user, both the, you know, the AAC user and the person designing the pages more control. And Joni, I'll hand it back to you. Well, looks like your mic is off. <laughs> Dreaded word. Um, of course, we at Attainment Company are looking forward to eight, seeing you at ATIA. The year should be filled with exciting news. So please come connect with Attainment at ATIA 2025. John and I, along with additional colleagues, will be there to connect with you.